Hi there, good morning. I'm back again with uh, the third part of the tutorials called how to create widgets using Yahoo SDK for widgets. Today we will look into something much more detailed, more than what we have seen in the previous two uh, tutorials. Uh, this will deal with a most popular widget which most people like to have on their desktop or on their website which is called RSS news feed in this tutorial we will create a simple feed uh, simple uh, feed aggregator basically which will read uh, RSS from any news site whichever you want and uh, it will show it on a Yahoo widget I will divide this tutorial into two parts so that the video does not become too long but basically both the videos will deal with creation of RSS aggregator. If you have any questions or queries about the video as soon as you have seen this you want to have some clarifications or something please uh, head over to my uh, blog which is as you can see here http widgets gadgets world dot blogspot dot com if you are interested in knowing something extra about uh, widgets please leave a comment in this blog and i will try to get back to you all right okay now let's begin and this time around we will not be using the same image which i had shown you earlier it is kind of stupid so let's use something else <clears throat> I have created an image using Photoshop which uh, we will get with a bit of transparency uh, nothing extra special this is the image which we are going to use for the background and because this will be like a window and we will have something uh, on the screen the problem is that Anything on the screen can on this screen, okay, the widget screen, cannot be dragged. So if I cover the whole screen up, then you won't be able to drag the widget around. It will be fixed in one place. To overcome that, to show the user where they can click, it's just like Windows. You see this? This is called a title bar. Let's create a title bar for our widget, and that can be done by using another image, which I have already created. This one. All right. Now. How do we make a widget look like a window? Simple. We put this as the main window, as the background for the main window or the image for the main window and we put an image on top of it. Okay, like here. This image is an object. Therefore, it will be put on top of the background. Alright. For now. And as you know, we write the first thing widget, that's the main element. Then we put in our window, okay. And as you can see, I have created a window, okay, which I have named as main win. Every object must be uh, must be given a name and an ID or just an ID because these uh, objects may be required later in javascript okay so please do not forget to uh, give them an id at least okay uh, the windows id is main win the name is rss1 title is my first widget uh, width is 400 by 310 and it is visible now we have used this image as the background which is the big one widget.png it will cover the whole background therefore we do not need any offset or anything else and we have used win title.png and vertical offset is minus one just to make sure that this uh, image is on the top very top of the screen i repeat screen means your widget screen not your desktop okay so if we save this this much file just this much this is more than enough to create uh, widget window for you let's see okay here is my widget 3.com let's double click on it use widget and you see this is your window this is the main window which we are going to use to show our rss feed 
okay now let's close it for now we will use it later now the thing is on the title on the top there should be something which shows what is this window for like this window shows my widget 3 dot per microsoft visual studio administrator and everything so the our window should have something like that we will put in a title which is a text object okay i have typed something which is a text object and it will be put on top of the screen as you can see the vertical offset is just 15 so and the horizontal offset is 15 so basically it is on the left hand side on top of the screen which will overlap the wind title uh, image so it will look like a uh, title bar please also uh, note the id id is wind title okay we will use this id later in javascript as i have told you now to show the rss feed or the feed xml feed which is coming from uh, the server we cannot show everything in the text because it will have some html involved because i will put all the titles or the news titles as links so that user can click on it and the browser window will open where he can read it web is like a browser object or let's say an object which can understand html and parse it we don't need to do anything extra just uh, put in the web object and give the html as data to it and it will do it so let's go ahead and uh, put in a web object here okay okay now i have typed something again remember this web object has an id rss1 you can give anything you like but please do give an id because i will be using it later in the javascript file all right and as you can see it has an offset of vertical offset of 28 so that it can come just below the title bar and the horizontal offset of 18 just to place it properly in between the window and a width of 380 and a height of 270 why the width of 380 because the width of the window is 400 and the horizontal offset is 18 so basically the total area covered will be 398 pixels all right okay and i have given a background color but it is not required because uh, it will show the background uh, image all right so this is the basic uh, widget window which will do nothing to be very honest uh, we have to write a javascript uh, program to make it read the rss and all that okay now to uh, to start a javascript program we need an event okay how does a javascript uh, program works in the old fashioned html we just put in the uh, on click or on blur or something like that event in this case we cannot do that please remember it will be uh, it will be outside the window element it is not a part of the window element therefore uh, keep it outside of the window hierarchy the uh, syntax is quite simple just put script you can see i have written script source equals to rss read 3.js this is my javascript file which i have created in this javascript file we will have this function which we had named read rss okay without the javascript there is no use of a trigger or on low e event because javascript uh, will be handling uh, the events all right here is the main javascript file uh, this file doesn't do anything except uh, contact a server get the file and send a formatted html to us remember why i'm saying formatted because i told you there will be links in the html which will be sent to us therefore uh, the xml file which we get from the server has everything in xml format which is not of much use to the user what we do, we pass that file and create a HTML string which is sent back to the widget and the widget prints it on the web object. That's why we had put in a web object because we need it to pass the HTML. So let's start it slowly. Uh, this is read RSS function read RSS. This is a JavaScript function. Okay, the server which I am going to use is Times of India. Uh, which is one of my favorite newspapers you are free to change it to anything you want 
it's not necessary that you have to use this server only. For now, I have hard coded it in the file. In the later version of the video, which uh, will be either part 4 or part 5, uh, we will see how we can give it to the user, like leave it to the user to change it or to give his, his or her own uh, favorite to the window was blank. So we must give that something, some value, otherwise it won't look nice. To do so from JavaScript, as you all must know, that we use widget.get element by id. That's why I was stressing the fact that every object must have an id because JavaScript will try to get this object is a variable which will hold the reference to the object called win title in the con file. Remember we made a win title text object? Yeah, you see? ID win title. Okay? Then as you know, this is a asynchronous uh, transmission, so we will just get the XML HTTP object, check if it is null or not, and then basic working of asynchronous object is that it will not block the current thread. Therefore, we must give it a function. Uh, when the thread finishes, what should it do? Because it is not going like a sequence which we are habituated to, like the first line it works, then it moves to the second line. No. It will start at work and then transfer the control to the next line. So when it comes back or finishes its work, there is no next line for it. It has to know where it must go when it finishes the job. To do that, what we do in uh, HTTP object is on ready state change. That means when the state changes, specifically when the state becomes 4 or complete, 4 is the code, when the state becomes complete, what should it be done? What should the object do? Okay, uh, we will look at it later. Let's first see how the object is started. Okay, as you can see, I open a connection with uh, the get uh, verb and the server uh, address which was stored in the variable news and this the third one is the most important is called true if you want a synchronous transmission you can write false i want to asynchronous transmission that's why i'm writing true it's totally up to you what you want to do and then send it with a null uh, argument when it finishes after this line window control starts working normally it does not wait for this thread to finish okay so when this thread finishes let's go back it calls this function which you might remember or you might think like an anonymous function of java okay and uh, it calls this function it checks whether it has completed i told you ready state 4 means uh, the request has completed then we get the response xml this is a attribute of xml http object and it is in a xml format so we can easily use it as a XML document. It's completely uh, XML document, so we can use it. One more check we do is that for the status of 200, whether there has been an error or something, and XML doc, whether uh, the returned XML was none. None means empty or nothing. Then, okay, then comes the win title. In win title, we get it from the same XML file. The XML or the RSS feed which comes, it always has a title for the company or for the organization which has generated that XML. That is uh, RSS channels title. So we get that object and store it in win title. Now there is one more important thing, this XML which I am using or the XML DOM which we call it, document object model, is inbuilt into the Yahoo widget SDK. So we can use it uh, very easily and you might see that the syntax is a bit different from the other document for our window from the XML file and assign that title to the text object which we have assigned in my widget. Secondly what we do, we get all the uh, titles from item object. Now remember there is a difference, here it is RSS channel and title. RSS channel is just the top portion of your RSS feed which uh, stores the information about the organization which has generated this feed. 
to get to the news items we have to go access channels items and then title this is the all the titles for the news feed we need this to uh, create a clickable object okay where if the user can click and it can go open a browser window and the user can read the news because titles sometimes the user wants to read the news in detail okay so title is not enough and you can see this is a simple javascript which you have which you must have done a thousand times just take this array titles okay and uh, use a loop to go through all the titles in the array and uh, create links to those titles and then we will append it to a string called str answer okay we are just appending it to it we are not creating a new string each time if we create a new string each time you know what will happen you will only see the last one the browser where you can read the news after we have done this we get the element rss1 you must remember this is the element uh, which shows the web content so we store it in result and give the result html as the uh, str answer this is because this is an html we are assigning that html to the result object this is again not a javascript function or a javascript attribute this is in built into the web object of yahoo sdk please do not use it outside the yahoo sdk because it will of be of no use most of the time you might remember we use inner html this is something similar to it not exactly same but something similar to it and if all these processes fail then we should print an um, message that an error has occurred that's it you can save this file and execute it to see what happens okay let's save it and see if the file is working the file and we execute it use widget and here's our news simple as that see you click on any of them say for instance chandrayaan finds ice on moon and here you go click on it that's it you can read the news any news you want and just close it so i hope uh, you enjoyed this and uh, in the next video we will look into customizing this uh, widget so that the user can give its own uh, uh, rss feed you know like we we'll right click on here and widget preferences at present it is not showing anything because we haven't given any preferences we can uh, show preferences which user can change according to his or her need i hope you will come back to check out the next video which will be much more interesting bye bye